Hey, that was a very bad one to one here by putting on the video. And in this part of the modding tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you how to add new uh, potion recipes. So I know I said in the previous part that so it was going to be uh, yeah, the video on how to release uh, your mod, but took custom save to game still isn't out. That's the end. But hopefully, uh, yeah, it would release somewhat soon. So, you add a new potion recipe, and we're going to need to extract waft in a recipe balancing data. and resource costs per level balancing data. So, in this video then, we're going to example this with the Purify Potion, because in the unmodified game, if we go to the camp... <laughs> I keep forgetting that in this version, and in one of the tutorials, I replaced Bob with the Brute Pig. Because I only opened this specific instance when I'm making these tutorials, but anyway. So if we go to the cauldron, you'll notice that there are recipes here. Uh, all our buttons for each and every single or potion in the entire game, apart from the Purify Potion. Um, I decided to refer to these as buttons rather than recipes because, oh wow, these two aren't really recipes, they're just buttons that take you to the shop. So, but I opened crafting recipe balancing data uh, first because Rovio actually made a very easy to solve error with the Purify Potion. So the reason the recipe isn't visible in the cauldron is because it's, uh, in the unmodified game, but and obtaining the Purify Potion's recipe softlocks the game. And the reason why is because... So, in consumable item balancing data, then the ID for the Purify Potion is Potion underscore Purify underscore 01. But as you can see right here in the recipe, they forgot the underscore 01. So now that we have added that, then obtaining the recipe will no longer softlock the game. <laughs> so that's the only change that we need to make to uh, crafting recipe balancing data to get the Purify Potion to work. Now, of course, if we add this balancing data into the game right now, then the recipe isn't going to immediately appear in the cauldron. Now, for that, we're going to need to head over to Battle Balancing Data. So, here you can see this is where it gives you the premium potion recipes, except the purify potion isn't here because it soft locked the game. Until now.
However, this version of the level is only for completing it the first time, so for demonstration purposes, so we can get a recipe right now. And then we're going to copy all of this. And uh, we're going to uh, paste it to here. So, now that we've put the balancing data in-game, then completing South Beach 2 will drop the potion recipe. Hopefully. You might have noticed that in battle balancing there it was called Battle 4, and that's because originally there were four levels from here to here. This time it will work. So now if we check the cauldron, then the purify potion recipe is here. But the main reason you're watching this tutorial is probably because you want to figure out how to give it a recipe so you can craft it. So just like a fruit cake, the veggie cake, and a pig cherry juice. So this is where we're going to need resource cost per level balancing data. So there isn't actually a written tutorial on how to do this in a modding discord, so... Well, when I was trying to add the recipes to the next update for the 3.3 mod, then... But I had to sort of figure out uh, how to do it myself, and I never would have thought that this would be the name of the balancing file where the costs were stored. Like, I was certain it would be the crafting item or crafting recipe balancing data. Anyway, so we're going to scroll all the way down. Uh, here, and then, uh, uh, so in terms of the name ID, you want to make sure it's cost underscore, and then the name of the recipe you're giving the cost to. So for here, then we're going to name it cost recipe potion purify. sure to add the name ID of the item that you want the recipe to make. And then here we're going to give it the same recipe that it has in 3.3.3. So, we're ingredient iced chili. 
so what two ice chilies uh, five magic water and uh, five greater vials I may not have gotten the amount exact I think this is uh, the recipe that I used in the Bodypondery. <laughs> Although you don't have to just use, uh, like, you aren't limited to stuff in the ingredients tab for these recipes, as I discovered when making the update for 3.3. .3. As, uh, I included enchantment energy in the recipe of or experience potion which is in this tab and it worked the only time it glitched when I tried to add something is originally uh, my plans was uh, Mighty Eagle's favourite dish was going to use an experience potion in its ingredients instead of the five magic water. And the game glitched a little bit there. Uh, and it might have just been my internet connection, and after that the mod started loading up slower than normal, so I just reverted it to the five magic water. So now to re-import it. Oh. Oh. This entire time. I can't believe I made the same mistake that I made in part 2 of this series. Good job I realised before I finished recording, so at least some of this video's footage is understandable. So, now if we head to the cauldron, then... What? Why does it softlock? Did I do something wrong? Turns out when I put greater vials in the recipe, I put an S on the end because it was plural. <laughs> Even though that's not part of the name ID. <laughs> so that's why it's soft locked.
So, now it works. Now, of course, I would extend this tutorial and show you guys how to add a new resource as well. Look, but... Editing this is already going to be a nightmare thanks to me forgetting to switch to display capture for 90% of the video. <laughs> so I'm gonna make that a separate tutorial in case anyone is interested. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again with that tutorial. Bye!